Hello, hello, Central is Strong, a.k.a. Kittle Central. Uh, really, I shouldn't even say Kittle Central. Central is Strong, that's just a social media name I got. Uh, this is for you, Stephanie and Alex. Y'all definitely been on my mind, and I've been so busy. I've been neglecting this for far too long. But I'm going to tell y'all how I got over my depression. And this will literally be sent to you guys specifically. I'm not going to share this on the internet. This is like directly to you guys. I might share like another podcast message with the same meaning and the same interpretations and the same topic. But this this one specifically is for y'all to listen to. Uh, One thing is I want to first say there is nothing to be ashamed of when you're depressed. We're human. We're going to be sad. We're going to have hard times. We're going to be down. We're going to have moments where you feel like no one else cares. It's human. And everyone has a moment when they feel like no one cares. So I want you to know that you're not alone. And it's okay to cry. It's okay to be human. If someone tries to shame you for that, screw them. Because they're being hypocrites. They're trying to make you something they're not even themselves trying to make you feel force you to be happy when they got sad moments and i guarantee you if you do that to them they'll be pissed at you and they'll say stuff to you that be like hateful and mean but they expect you to listen to them and everything they got to say so if you're sad be human it's okay to be sad but it's not okay to be sad forever it's it's okay to get knocked down but it's not okay to stay down and i'm going to tell you why and how I got well, how I got over my depression, and once again, if someone ever judges you for being the f off if you have to, and just keep being human. You know they're gonna leave you alone eventually. The haters they can only hate for so long. But one thing is, I sound a little out of breath because I just came from running over to running two miles today, uh, just a couple minutes ago. One thing is, is to literally. Look in the mirror and say to yourself every morning, do I want to be depressed? Like when no one's around, when no one's around, no one, when no one's in your area, when no one's in the room that you're in, when no one's even in the house you're in, look in the mirror and say to yourself, and ask yourself, do I want to be depressed? And I already know the answer would be no, because nobody just wants to be depressed. And tell yourself, self-talk is a big thing. I am going to be happy. Someday, I'm going to be happy. It may not be today, but I'm going to make it past this day so I can make it to the day That I'll be happy. Self-talk can get you very far. I do it all the time. Secondly. Is vitamins. What you eat is who you are. If you eat vitamins. If you eat healthier. If you treat yourself better. You will literally start feeling better. Like no joke. If you start eating more veggies. If you start drinking more water. If you start exercising a little bit more. If you start walking more just on your free time, if you start getting sunlight, if you start doing these simple things, it will help you. The vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin F, E, G, whatever out there, whatever is out there, so many vitamins out there. Taking those daily will literally shape your mood in a way you have never, ever imagined. Thirdly, um, vent to somebody, but don't just vent to random people that don't give a crap. Vent to someone you know that actually cares, your mom, and sometimes parents, you know, they don't really understand, you know, sometimes they feel like we're too sensitive, we're too spoiled, we don't know what a hard time is, and they're wrong, we, we just... They're, they're, they're wrong because we live in a different planet, a different time frame, with different rules, different everything. 
So find, I don't know, you guys are probably teen, you guys are teenagers. Find someone about 32, anywhere from 24, which is my age, to like 32 and vent to them. And don't just vent to them like for fun. Try vent to them and try to get like advice from it. Try to get a a shoulder to lean on. Try to get support. So it won't just look like you're complaining just naturally. I really highly recommend finding a friend who will who outside of y'all because y'all y'all are dating. Y'all y'all best friends, of course, because y'all are dating. But finding someone else, if it can be me even, that would never get tired of you guys venting. That would never get tired of you guys telling them what's telling the them what's on your mind. Finding that person that won't give up on you, even when you want to give up on yourself, will get you out of depression sooner than later. It, I, trust me, it happened to me too. I had to find someone and they helped. Fourth, um, keeping a journal, documenting your growth and looking back at your growth. This is not something I really done, but it's something that, well, I've done it for a small period of time and it did help, but it's something I would recommend a journal and like every week, write down the biggest things that happened that you noticed that made a positive change or a positive impact. And reminisce on the positive memories. Reminisce on the positive achievements. Because sometimes, and sci- it is scientifically proven, 98, 97% of our thoughts are naturally negative. But when we find out one tiny light, the one positive thing we've done this week, and share our energy entirely on that as much as we can, and start becoming natural when you start thinking looking at the good sides of things more and more and more even if you have to like force it sooner or later it's just going to literally be a natural instinct uh fifth and i'm going to just start out with five steps so this will be the last step for this podcast uh Sometimes we have a tendency of fighting our thoughts. And this one is more than just depression. It's probably anxiety. It's probably it's something that I had to... I'm even fighting with right now. Because I got... I low-key got anxiety. We have a thing with fighting our thoughts. And we want to think something that our mind isn't naturally producing. Sometimes we want to think of us... Winning in an argument, but sometimes sometimes we would have won in an argument face to face, but our minds is still thinking that we actually lost the argument, like in a scenario, if you know what I mean. But that makes any sense. And what I'm trying to say is, when a negative thought comes to your mind about you losing a fight, it, these can be negative thoughts of things that didn't even happen to you. They could just randomly pop up. Something bad happened to you. No, people, you thinking that someone doesn't even care about you if you try to talk to them about something they need to know. Literally put this question in your mind as much as you can. Is this thought helping me? It's simple. I know it sounds like it's really nothing. But when you literally ask yourself this is this thought helping me as much as you can? Your brain is going to, and I feel like I'm doing some scientific scientific stuff with this podcast too. Your brain is going to naturally start. It's going to start like revolving around away from the negative thinking. Your brain is going to start saying to itself it's just a negative thought it's not real it's not actually happening to me in real life let's move on to something else 
of that negative thought that you might spend 10 minutes fighting, you might spend a whole day fighting, is just going to go away. Because when you keep asking yourself, is this thought helping me, you're not going to want to think something that isn't helping you. So sometimes when you fight it, you're thinking about it even more because you're trying to beat it. And the more you fight it, the more resistance that negative thoughts going to have against your own brain. So sometimes scream, saying that, asking that question, why the negative thought that's in your brain is going to probably like immediately drop the thought. Or it's going to make you realize that whatever is in your mind that's a negative thought, it's not even worth your energy or time to try to fix. Because it's not real. And it's easier saying it than doing it. But I guarantee you, if you practice this, these five steps, especially the last one, it's going to make a significant change in your life. This is how I literally... Yeah, I got more steps to share later on in time because these are not the only five things. The fifth step I'm actually still working on right now. Uh, these are like the five first steps I would take to conquer my depression. With all being said, I hope you understand everything I said. I hope you can hear it. I hope this helps. Thank you for your time. I hope to see you guys tomorrow or today at work. And yeah, I haven't forgot about y'all. I just... Pray to God that this message really helps. Thank you.